Yeah, mm. there's actually this one commenter on my video, I believe. Uh, it's one of them. I, I don't know which one it was. Maybe I'll put it up here when, if I find it. But yeah, mm. it was like, what kind of math is required for coding? I was like, yo, it all depends on what you're doing. So mm. if you don't need to do it, don't do it. But if you're getting into something that re require that kind of stuff, get it. You know, do it, learn it, and figure it out. Yo, you might be sitting on a problem. You don't really understand like the logic and the stuff behind it and how to get to that, that end point. But then if you up your knowledge in this particular area, then you can solve that. But for the most part, if you don't need discrete math or you don't need none of that advanced stuff, you don't really have to do that. Like you don't need discrete math for building out a, a well site and the UI side. It's like there's nothing too complex with that. If you, you know, really doing anything with data science, yeah, maybe you have to do more math heavy stuff like discrete math or I think I mentioned in the comments below uh, for the persons like, you know, numerical methods like i think numerical methods is probably one of the best ways to like approximate anything if you don't know need it don't use it or don't try to learn it you know learn the stuff that you need to learn maybe you learn it but keep it in your back pocket that's it do it for your for your own enjoyment